Um, so there are many activities that are taking place um, around the world, so not just within the U.S. Obviously, we've had a huge amount of activity taking place in the United States. We're having a lot of activity within higher ed, which is a little bit unexpected. We had been thinking that um, when we originally started working with open badges that that would have a lot of effect in out-of-school environments, and, uh, and so there has been a lot of uptake there. There is work that's happening um, and I will go through a number of, of case studies today um, of different universities who are using badges. And we're seeing a lot of activity within workforce as well. So people are interested in making the connection between earners of badges coming from academic environments and then moving out into the employment environment. And that's probably where we see our greatest activity. There are some specific industries who are, who are starting to work with badges, and those are either healthcare and technical areas. So I know that there's a, an emphasis of happening with the digital competencies within Italy. Same thing is happening in the United States. So getting people up to speed and understanding exactly how and where to use digital um, or have digital skills. And those are the kind of things that are being badged. Likewise, we have things that are like soft skills or non-cognitive skills, sometimes in the US called 21st century skills. Um, those are about leadership and teamwork and those are also the kind of things that we're seeing a lot of people being interested in developing badges for. So huge amounts of activity, lots of work taking place in Australia, um, throughout all of Europe, um, throughout the UK and throughout U the US and, and also some parts of Asia we're starting to see badges get picked up. Um, I think some of the conversation too that we'll also need to be having is about is there a basic common currency that people can understand how and where to use badges and then how can they be exchanged. So huge amounts of activity and we're really excited about all the work. We need to make sure that the companies are involved in the process of developing the badges. So what we have found historically is that people are developing or they have a curriculum um, and that curriculum hasn't necessarily been related to the workforce. So over time the curriculum has changed and work the needs of workforce have changed and those needs then haven't been reflected within the curriculum. So bringing employers back to the table so they can help start to say exactly what competencies or skills that people need or that they're looking for to hire. And then we can build badge systems that are in some ways reverse engineered. So starting to look at what's necessary or needed out in the public and then saying, okay, is this already being taught within schools or universities? And if so, great, then let's start acknowledging them through badges or let's start acknowledging them through some sort of credentials. And then um, that can be a nice pathway or um, connection to workforce so that it, so they're not separate. They're not two different environments. Anymore.